in our top 15. But he is a Game & Watch Samus main, and let me tell you something, as a Falcon main myself, which ruins his as well, Game & Watch is a big pain in the ass to deal with. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it is not a ton of fun sometimes, but that character will die to a knee at 55, so let's see how this goes. And Advo is very versed in this matchup as well. Um, can I tell you something real quick? This is, this is just a quick story. I've played against Advo before, and uh, he said this is only, I'm not sure, a Falcon combo, but you saw it off the start. He tried to up smash, which you think to yourself, why is a Game Watch up smashing at zero? Mm -hmm. It leads straight into Judgment at zero. What? <laughs> yeah, it leads, he, he's There's up smashed no nine way. mean bracket before. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Swear to God. So, uh, just to give you guys a little tip of information, that does work. Advo uh, Advo's a first class goon, man. He, 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 of all people in the world that would know about it, it is Advo, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> And uh, he... Uh, I think he nine Samsora on stream yes. yesterday too. <laughs> so he's uh, he he'll definitely go for those judgments if he's got the opportunity. Especially if it works off throw and you got a one in nine chance, whatever. Oh yeah. Oh? Okay, not gonna get the gimp there, and that's something that Game Watch is actually really good at doing with that great up B recovery. Um also, sh shout outs to Sam Sword tweeting it out, saying, I can't believe I lost a game to a Game Watch who hit a down throw 9 on me. He goes, that's that's what you get for when I got three ones the first game. <laughs> <laughs> down throw, up air, Nair actually by that blast zone would have been a scary thing for Advo to deal with, but the DI oh, yeah. away will work out for him. Oh, yeah. There's some percents as Falcon, if you just catch him with down throw and they DI out, then Nair still hits anyways. And people just die really, really early. Especially a character like Game Watch. You see a lot of back air from Runes. It does hit like diagonally downward. It's good at hitting Game & Watch a small frame. It's nice and safe. Um, Runes like really not trying to approach. Runes a really like usually aggressive player, but he's a... Uh, I shouldn't say he's not trying to approach, but he's being a lot more careful with his approaches right now. Yeah, understanding that like 2-2 two -two is a definite thing from Advo. Ooh, Ooh the, the two... What's that? Someone said the 2012, 2013, the run pass uh, side B. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's, a, that's just a classic. Not gonna work this time. The bear, though, gonna. I'm a little surprised that killed, but like I said, game watch, very, very light. And he looks light. I mean, he's 2D. <laughs> oh, dare gonna hit, get that uh, non-spike hitbox. I'm sure Advo didn't expect to get it anyways. Okay. <laughs> Excellent from yes. Advo. Because uh, when once that once that jab hits your shield, you're just re you're just bracing yourself like, all right, here it comes. Got the multi jab. I got a shield forever. So that instant grab, really solid way to uh, push advantage. As well as the hit stun on that jab is actually quite obnoxious to deal with sometimes. Oh like, yeah. It feels like you're just stuck in it forever. Dash tech even at 170 will not take it. The dare ending a little too early for Advo there, and here comes Runes with rage. I don't know, man. If I'm trying, if I'm playing this game and I'm Advo, it's the last thing I want to deal with. Oh yeah. Oh, down tilt definitely. Like there's almost anything but weak dash attack will probably take this. So uh, gonna actually get that secure that stock advo. Only take a 44, not too shabby. And like Game Watch, straight up like in my opinion, kind of just like I think it's like a, almost a 6-4 for Game Watch. Like it's really hard for Falcon to actually secure a hit onto that character. And oh, yeah. Falcon gets combo by Game Watch like down throw Nair forever. Forever, it feels like. As well as the 2-2 two -two ranges. Uh oh. Oh. I love the usage of up air here from Advo. Yeah, it's really good, like the um the wind box, he uses stuff like that. He uses down tilt the same way. Mm -hmm. um, just to like throw off your positioning super hard. Um, the way you're like landing with aerials and stuff like that. And uh, now Rune's just sticking to his uh, his game plan of like primarily using these back airs to just keep Advo away. Yeah, there's not too many moves that'll always connect to the game and watch being uh, Falcon's like 7-5 or whatever the hell he is. And uh, Bear is kind of the one. Uh-oh, though. Here's a grab. Up throw. Toot shoot. Not yep. going to take it just yet. Falcon being very heavy. But it'll still. I'm sure it'll still work. Oh, maybe not so sure anymore. Man, first hit a Nair to 6. That's actually... <laughs> that's <laughs> so much. There's like 6 hits to that thing. Yeah. I mean, Game and, game and Watch is a... Uh, he, he needs something, man. Oh no, he needs I, something. I I agree. <laughs> this man's using everything in his toolkit. He's got a, he's got a freaking turtle, a parachute, and a chair. But the down tilt, the sweep of the leg will just take it for runes here. Yep. Good landing catch uh, with that uh, down tilt, and we are going to be moving on to game two. Runes going up. Uh, going up 1-0, and that's 
If I had to go into the matchup and say who wins this nowadays, I'd probably say Runes, but I'd say it's hella close. It's hella close. And uh, I was looking for the whiteboard. I was seeing if Advo still had it. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> He'd definitely be the guy to bring one to the camera while he's playing, and then after winning the set, put something up to the camera. But not today. I just write nine on it. <laughs> nine? <laughs> <laughs> just nothing else but a sloppy, like, Advo handwriting nine. <laughs> yeah. Okay, dash attack. Oh, here we go. And the platform's here. The up tilt was insane. Oh, my gosh. Going for the play of the year there, possibly. <laughs> you play Falcon. You gotta. And, uh, oh, yeah. It's, I mean, if you play Falcon, like, the heart of a Falcon player has to be one that's, like, ready to go for those crazy options. Forward throw to get him off stage, though. I like that, you know, try to keep Advo out there as long as possible. Bear is such a good ledge trapping uh, tool, so. It's just making some pancakes there for a split second. Oh, man, that timing didn't look bad from Roots. A lot of pressure, though, coming out from Advo as well, especially shield pressure. The Nair uh, just putting a ton on, kind of. When Runes is on that platform, making him not feel safe up there. Yeah, yeah. Down throw roar back air, so good. Like that. Ooh, he's not dead, but down tilt. Can I say, get off my ledge. I'm calling it Raptor Boost. I'm calling it right now, guys. I wouldn't be surprised. Runes does love Raptor Boost. Yeah. Especially when, like, he hits a few kill moves and they just don't work out for him. He's like, screw it. You know? But we're going to get the up throw to two. Not killing, but putting him at a good percent now where Fadville gets one decent up smash read or man, up smash is broken. Holy crap. You see how fast down tilt came out? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Advo. Uh Advo's definitely like one who does the up smash and then the down tilt right after. Um it's so safe to so, oh I don't think that was supposed to be a roll. I think it was dash and shield and sometimes you just get yeah, a roll. Very well, could have been. Jab, jab, grab, but not going to get the Nair there. Advo capable of DIing out of it. DIing in this time to mix him up, but Rune's not having any of it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Rune's getting a little more comfortable with the movement now. And that's when you think of Rune's, his move, his Falcon movement is always crisp, always on point. Yeah, he's usually always playing this fast. He's definitely slowed it down a lot uh, for this matchup, and it's been working out excellently for him. Yeah, going to take that with the dare at the ledge. I think that was a JV as well. Edvo looking like a statue. Okay, there we go. We got some movement. He's here. He's here. He's alive. Uh, so. Hey, he's, he's thinking. He's thinking hard, man. Edvo's thinking, a thinker. Man, where did I put my shoes? Yeah, oh, God. Where did it go? Uh, <laughs> well, he's wearing them currently. <laughs> Thank God. Right, I would have died if Edvo just didn't have them today. Just walking around <laughs> with socks. That's the most Edvo thing I've ever seen. What? I thought it was going to be Samus. Yeah, no, uh, we are actually seeing the Mewtwo. I do see Advo pull out the Mewtwo. He plays a lot of Mewtwo in friendlies. Um, Samus is like his uh, kind of like recognized secondary, but Mewtwo's not bad. Yeah, I've definitely seen his Mewtwo. Uh, and like, I'm trying to think though, like, Runes has done well against some of the local Mewtwo's we have. Well, the local Mewtwo we have here, which is Unknowns and Oda's brother. Super yep. good. Taking a win on him not too long ago, so uh, definitely has the experience. I was definitely playing friendlies with this Mewtwo earlier, and it was doing better than like his Samus was or uh, like his other secondaries. So uh, yeah, I'm not really surprised to see this pick. Right. Yeah. Sometimes oh, the movement. Sometimes you just like you're feeling a character that day, and you go, "Well, it is my tournament life, but I don't nice. really care." And the flow, well, the drop down, fair man. That's such a good option from Mewtwo, though. Capable of just going down there and using that double jump to just drop down and float up with you. Catch. Yeah, this Mewtwo Advo. looking good, man. Yeah, Advo really in control right now. Oh, but this could be bad. So I, I don't know. If, oh, that's a great up smash to catch the landing. I don't know if I, What are we doing here, bro? We're just throwing knees now. The terrifying thing about that situation for Mewtwo is that Mewtwo's jump away is really slow. Mm. Uh, so a lot of the time he has to rely on air dodge um, to get out of stuff like that. And air dodging versus Falcon is horrifying. Not the greatest idea all the time. I mean, it, it's good, but uh, also, Mewtwo is like one of the few characters that's like down throw knee, just like has golden percents. Yeah. So, uh, Advo very aware of that, I'm sure, but I thought we were at that percent a moment ago. Not anymore, though. 107, but this character is second lightest. Could die at any moment, but Advo saying, oh, hell no. Oh, that shadow ball was really, really good. Good patience. Nice, fair. Taking that game. 
convincingly. Yeah, that was that was a crazy turnaround. Played so well too, like just spacing wise. And Evo definitely looking a lot more relaxed after that one. He's a I I bring this up like when I see Advo because we don't see Advo as much as I like to anymore. Yeah. He definitely rides emotions to the highs and, the and to the low. Have you, did you see him versus uh what was it Abadongo? I mean that that was like a year or so I remember ago, that actually. Yeah. yeah, that was a crazy set um and a great example of, you know, what you just pointed out. So this Mewtwo, I wouldn't be surprised like if he keeps the way he's going, he could definitely bring this right on back. Oh, the Scyphe. Okay, though, Rune's finally getting something started up. And, and like, Mewtwo is a fun character to combo if you are a Falcon, though. I'm not going to lie. Big body, really light. Dies to knee at just, like, 60. Like, right there was a scary moment for Advo to deal with. For sure. Ooh. Yeah, good drift back from uh, Advo. Anything that would have caught him there probably wouldn't have taken his stock. But that, uh, that forward smash, if he drifted in, definitely would have. Not going to be able to space out that down tilt. A little surprise there. Miss spacing on it. Up air connects. But uh, Rune's not going to get too aggressive and overextend there. Oh, oh the last gosh. hit of it. What is the option for Runes? Going for the ledge trump. And back, ledge trump back here would have definitely taken that there. But Avril going to go low instead. Oh, oh. Oh. He had all the reads. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> There's just moments where you're just like, oh, this person could just die just like that. All right, so we're going to be putting Falcon back off stage exactly where Mewtwo wants him. And wow, that was great capitalization. Uh, I don't think Advo got hit by the uh, the Raptor boost on purpose, but, or the Raptor boost, the, the excuse Falcon me, hug, the man. Falcon dive, dive yeah. uh, on purpose, but. If you tech that, uh, it makes Falcon very vulnerable. <laughs> it's just a sad day because, like, you see, like, Falcon's tech it, and then they'll need the other Falcon. That's basically the yeah. same scenario there. Mewtwo just able to get his forward air out. Or, like, Nairo will tech it and then do, like, the uh, the flip jump spike. Yeah, evil. Yeah. And then it's like they go out there and they're like, please hit me. Please. <laughs> oh, but full control. Possibly waiting for an air dodge read here for runes. But landing there is going to allow Advo to at least get back to stage for now. Double roll, just roll in his face, roll away. Let's do it. This shield. Yeah, I like that. I like that Nair. Uh, he knew that Runes was going to jump away. Oh! How'd that connect? That caught the bottom of his like tail or something. Mewtwo's huge, dude. Yep. That's he all I have to say about that. Mewtwo is enormous, and uh, that leaves him prone to stuff like that. So.